And today, we're going to do a, a, a bit of planting. These have been well hardened off. Corn of the cob, as you know it, and a lovely popular vegetable. The kids love it, straight into the barbecue and no messing around. And this is the time when, towards the middle of this month, we should be planting them out. But if in this case, these have been hardening off now for two or three weeks, they're ready to go out. I place my corn out like this, and the reason I've done that is this creates better pollination. A lot of people do them in a single line, and it doesn't work quite as successfully. To do them in these blocks is the ideal to do it. I've always used something my dad taught me years ago. Just a bit of old, a uh, little bit of timber, and I mark out the 12, 18 inches. As soon as it's done, you can wipe it off, ready to go again. So the ground's been prepared, um, we got rid of most of all the weed, and now we're ready to go. So we're looking at having a plant 12 inches apart this way, 18 inches apart that way. And do them in blocks like this. You do another block up there, then if you want any more. That will aid the pollination. Remember, if we're going to get a lot of dry weather, keep them watered. If necessary, use some of your garden compost as a mulch just to retain that moisture when we do get the sun and the heat. One of the other things, I think I've mentioned it many times, when you plant these plants, make sure they're nice and firm in the ground. And the way to do it is when planting, just do that. If that's all you take off the top, the plant doesn't move, you've done the job. If you pull the plant up, start again. I would also suggest, as I mentioned earlier, keep some fleece handy so that if it does turn really chill at night, just to give them that extra protection, a little bit of fleece around and over the top. As I say, these have been hard enough well, they're good sturdy plants. They're just saying, come on, let me start growing properly.